What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how the ghosts hunt now after the latest update in Phasmophobia. There has been very significant changes to how the ghosts are targeting players and I'm gonna show you how you can still stay safe when hell breaks loose. As a little bonus, I'm also going to show you a test in the end if the ghosts are losing memory of your last known position when you smudge them. As you may know from my previous videos is that the ghosts are targeting the closest player in line of sight. Except for the Benji, the Benji will pick a target at the beginning of the game and will not stray away from that target until it dies. The Benji will only hunt if the target is in the building and all other players can touch the ghost during the hunt. As you may know from my recent videos is that you were able to do this as well with other ghosts as long as the target stayed in line of sight. I'm going to show you now what happens if another player touches the ghost when it targets you. Big thanks to Red Wolf and the Phoenix Ascending for helping me with these tests. It's coming. Don't get. As you can see, you can be very close to the ghost, but if you're closer than one meter, the ghost will kill you now. So what we wanted to see now is if he can get the ghost to pick a new target when another player is just passing in front of the ghost. So one player is acquiring line of sight with the ghost while the other one is just passing in front of them. Helen. Okay, so if she walks past you, I'm going to clock it into the GM one second. Okay, three, two, one. I'm gonna cross a path, go into the gym. Is she following me? No, she didn't. Nah, of course. Okay, cool. Coming in behind her. In the Ellen. Time, you silly woman. Ellen. Ellen. Wait, Ellen. I'll I'll loop around. You wait over to the left. Your left. Okay, cool. You're too far. You're get. She's getting too close. Yeah. Crap. Oh well. Fuck it. Oh, she's right up your butt. Ellen. Ellen. She didn't switch. Why would you want to? This is way too like dangerous and lethal to even get other wanting to do so. Okay. Ellen. 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 Come on. That's it. Right. I'm gonna loop around. And I'm gonna pull oh, she switched. And nice. It worked. It worked. It worked. Oh, I'm gonna. Have, that's way too close for me. I'm gonna have to smudge too. Because <laughs> if I turn any corner, that was gonna be her right in my face. Okay. As you can see, Red Wolf was able to make the ghost switch, but you need to be incredibly close to the ghost to make this happen. Now, if the ghost is getting too close, you can also use your smudge stick to make the ghost wander for 5 seconds. During those 5 seconds, you can actually also touch the ghost, and after the 5 seconds, it will pick the closest target in line of sight. The last way to make it switch targets is by breaking line of sight. There's a caveat to it though, since the ghost also has a mechanic to go to the last location he has seen a player. So let's see how we can make the ghost three targets on one by breaking line of sight. She's coming. Go, break it. And she passed the middle. Barbara, Barbara. Oh! Oh no, she's coming after me, she's coming after me. Yeah. <laughs> you can come out. Red Wolf. Barbara. Barbara, come get me. Barbara, come get me. You can come out. Barbara, Barbara. She turned around. Yep, she's turned around. Phoenix. Okay, come out. And she passes the door now. Helen. 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 Okay. I'm phasing a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna break line of sight, so just be careful. Yeah. Switched. Yeah. 
So these tests have shown if the ghost is too close to a corner where he last seen a player and the other player is too far away from the ghost, the ghost will still go around the corner. So if you are relatively close to the ghost and the ghost is far away from the corner he last seen the other player, he will likely turn around. Now that we have seen the ghost targeting behavior, I want to quickly talk about how you can stay safe during hunts. First of all, as seen in the tests, don't go too close to ghosts during hunts. Number two, if the ghost is coming too close to you, use smudge sticks to make them wander for 5 seconds. Number three, always try to break line of sight, also use doors to break line of sight. Number four, don't hide in closed rooms when the ghost sees you going into that room. The ghost will go to the last seen location which is the door of the room and is likely to step into the room to check it out. Number 5. Never hold doors to rooms to hinder the ghost from opening them during hunts. It will not prevent the ghost from stepping into your room and check it out. All the ghosts can face through doors without opening them. So the holding door mechanic is only really useful for lockers and closets. Number 6. Never ever just hide in a room on a small map without having a looping opportunity or a locker or a closet in that room. Ghosts are still randomly picking waypoints around the house and they are likely to check out your room as well. Number 7. If you are facing a revenant, always take smudge sticks and a lighter with you. Number 8. Don't talk into your microphone when the ghost is hunting, since they can hear you now. The range where they can hear you is about 8 meters and they cannot hear you across floors. There's a noise threshold though, so you can still whisper with your friends. The ghosts can only hear you when you are using push to talk in multiplayer. When you are going solo, they can always hear you. Before I hit the bonus content, if you like this video, I would highly appreciate if you consider subscribing. Massive thank you to everyone that has already done that. We have hit 20k with this channel. Thank you so much guys, you are absolutely legendary. So here is the bonus content with the smudge sticks. I wanted to see if he can make the ghost forget the last location he has seen a player with a smudge stick. For that we are going to Edgefield and Redwolf is trying to attract the ghost, then smudge it and go into a closet and hide. Let's see what the ghost is doing when he does that. Come get me, come get me. Yeah, Saw you. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. As you can see the ghost sticked around at the last location he saw the player. The reason why the ghost is checking out the floor below is because there's still a bug where the ghost checks out the area right below or above the last seen location. So I think this is pretty clear, the smudge sticks will not erase memory of the ghosts. And something important to note, the memory will be completely erased for the next hunt. Thank you guys for watching and we see us in the next one. Oh, all these patrons! Thank you so much guys for your support. Mwah. Big schmouts. Mm -hmm.